Hey everyone, this is a guitar tutorial for The Prodigal by Josiah Queen. Before we begin, please consider subscribing to my channel, give this video a like, comment below on what else you'd like to see in the future. Additionally, if you're interested in any of the gear that you see today, there are links in the description below. If you'd like to donate to my channel, you can do that by clicking the three dots next to the like button, and you can go from there, and I really appreciate it. If you'd like to go down the rabbit hole of how I think, I wrote a book called How to Save Catholic Schools. It kind of goes into my time during my teaching career, and I think you would enjoy it. And if you'd like to support me another way, there is merch available on my spread shop store so go ahead and check it out and you can peruse at your leisure grab your acoustic guitar and you're going to need a capo today and let's get started all right like i said you're going to need a capo and it's going to go on the fourth fret we're going to be playing in the key of g to match the original key which is b and i believe josiah is actually using capo for himself and we're going to try to emulate everything that we can from the original recording and i'll be honest there have been so many other youtube guides and tutorials out there covering the song and they do a, a decent job but i'm going to try to match the recording as best as i can for you and if i make a mistake um, it's just by ear so just keep that in mind so here are the chords you need to know g c d d over f sharp and e minor now there's some variations of those chords as we go, but here is how I'm playing them mostly. To play G, I'm putting my middle finger down on the low E, third fret, index finger, A string, second fret. Of course, this is all relative to the capo, so one, two, three, one, two. And then ring finger and pinky on the B and high E strings of the third fret. And this is how you play G. To play C, you just bump down the middle finger and the index finger, and you have yourself a C chord. You can do it the original way, the traditional way, I should say, but that's up to you. To play the D over F sharp, which happens very often, you're going to put your index finger on the low E second fret, middle finger second fret on the G string, ring finger B string third fret. This is D over F sharp. You might see me play a D with the C shape, just bumped up two frets. And that's on the very, very end of the song, well, near the end, I should say. So if you see me do it, it's only in one place. Also, there's a regular D chord here and there. We have the index finger on the G string, second fret, middle finger, high E, second fret, ring finger, B string, third fret. Just don't strum the low E or A strings. E minor, you can play it one of two ways. Index finger and middle finger go on the A and D strings of the second fret. Ring finger and pinky go on the high E and B strings of the third fret, and this is E minor. Now you can let go of those bottom strings for a darker sound, but I believe that most of the time he's putting those fingers down on the third fret, bottom two strings. All right, so those are all the chords you're going to need to know. I'm going to be putting those chords on screen for you. I'll say them as we go along, and I'm going to break down that picking pattern and the strumming pattern that really makes this song what it is at the beginning. So bear with me. We're going to play through it, and then I'll go over the details right after. Stick with me. Here we go. One, two, three, four. E minor, D, G, C, G, step down, E minor, D, G, C, G, E minor, D, G, E minor, D, G, E minor, D, G, E minor, D, G, E minor, G. 
Well, everyone, I hope that playthrough helped you out. So let's talk about some strumming patterns that we can do in the song. And you got to think the offbeat is the most important when it comes to the prodigal. And I have to say, this was one of the hardest songs to film as a performance because it is just so hard with the strumming pattern. That's uh, something that's very hard for me to explain. A lot of things that I do on guitar feel natural to me. It's kind of head and heart and Holy Spirit, really. But at the same time, um, it's hard for me as a teacher to describe that on a video on YouTube. So if you were sitting next to me, uh, you could actually see exactly what my hand is doing, even though you can slow the video down with the gear icon. But at the same time, it's just not the same compared to being in person. So I'm gonna try to show you the intro first, and then I'm gonna go with uh, some other offbeat stuff throughout the song. Let's start with the picking pattern. And honestly, I don't think he's using a pick here. You could, you could, but I'm kind of using my fingernails and um, it depends on who you are. You may not like to do that. So uh, you can go either way. We'll just say it that way. But from the recording, I think I'm hearing fingernails, but I might be wrong. Here's what he's playing at the beginning. And you gotta think one and two and three and four and that's kind of what you're accenting when you're strumming. Now you can do that with a pick. This is the same thing just with a pick. It's kind of a little bit too aggressive. So I kind of like the finger style way. Um, and you're starting on an E minor. And that first hammer on that you're hearing is to a D over F sharp. And he's kind of pulling off there uh, and letting that E string ring out. See how I'm just flicking that index finger off in the low E? So one and two and three and four and four E and I guess is uh, when that hammer on and pull off happens. And then you're gonna go to, then you're gonna go to the G chord after that. And then a hammer on to the C chord and then back to G. So that whole sequence, E minor, hammer on, G, C, and then G. And it's hard for me to talk and do that pattern exactly perfect, because I know that wasn't perfect right there, but the chords were. So try to follow along. I'll try to play that uh, sequence in rhythm and correctly, but just slow. And of course, there's that D over F sharp right before you change into the next sequence, which is just a copy and paste of that pattern. So try to do that at that speed, and I think you'll be able to at the correct speed. And I'm not sure what the BPM is, but I'm sure it's pretty high because it's just fun to play. So here is what you would do for uh, the beginning of the chorus. And this is so critical. You could talk about the other patterns throughout the song, but it's just that G chord that happens twice. <laughs> right before and then the D chord so it happens like three or four times to do G da, 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 da. And that's all you're gonna do down up down up down up and then a D chord building into the chorus and then you could do the same kind of pattern that you were doing with a pick for the chorus at least when it comes to strumming and here's what I did And that's kind of what I was doing in the intro. But if you listen to the chorus, you actually don't hear the acoustic played 
too much in the mix. You're really hearing the banjo, the drums, his vocals awesome, but you don't really hear the acoustic guitar. And if you do, it's very, very minute. So it's not a very prominent thing in the chorus, believe it or not. Now, if you can't do that offbeat strumming, I would just do eighth notes. But that sounds a little too vanilla. So if you can try to do that offbeat strumming, that would be awesome. And it's all up to you. You got to make sure you practice the song by yourself. And then when it comes to rehearsal with the band, uh, definitely try to work it out where you can still do that because if you can, it's going to sound awesome. So the last little bit is after the chorus, there's a uh, kind of a breakdown, if you will, and then he goes to a picking pattern. I kind of hide my pick in my hand like this. Um, you could also put it on your lap if you're sitting down on a stool, um, but whatever you prefer, as long as you lose the pick here because you're going to pick this pattern, it's the same pattern that you would play in the beginning. <laughs> Now, it's not the same picking pattern, it's the same chord progression. So we have E minor, D over F sharp, and then G, and then D over F sharp. And I'm making sure that my finger, my, usually it's my middle finger when I'm picking this, is hitting the B string third fret. So it's like an E minor seven, if you will. Hammer on to G, and then D over F sharp. C, building up D, and you only strum D once. It's very hard to do that because you're so used to for the G chord and you want to go to D again, but don't do that, just do D. And the hardest part about the song to me is waiting for this last chorus and it's just acoustic and it's just Josiah. C, and just hold those drums. But waiting for that being patient and not coming in too early and not coming in too late. Something to practice with a metronome for sure. Well, hopefully I was able to help you out with that song, you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, comment below on what else you'd like to see in the future. And I apologize once again, it's so much easier if you're right next to me and you can uh, do this live. And I'm sorry, Zoom doesn't even cut that or FaceTime doesn't even cut that. And no offense to YouTube, it doesn't either. But if you're in person with me, uh, I can definitely teach you that a little bit better. So if you're in the Cleveland area, hey, I can help you out. If you'd like to donate to my channel, you can click the three dots next to the like button. You can go from there and I really appreciate it. Check out my book called How to Save Catholic Schools. It's on Amazon right now. And of course, check out my spread shop. It's in the description linked for you for your perusal. Thanks so much for watching guys. Have a great week. God bless.